In this video, we're going to take a look at makers and takers on the GDAX platform. Makers and takers are important because when you place an order and your trade executes, you are going to be placed into one of two categories. That is, you're going to be a maker or you're going to be a taker. And depending on which one of these you are, a maker or a taker, it's going to determine how much you are charged to actually place a trade on the GDAX exchange. Let's have a look. I'm here at gdax.com slash fees. Thing that you're going to notice, the most prominent thing that you're going to notice is that we see the maker fee up underneath we see zero percent and then if we look at taker fee we see some positive percentage values here so that means that if you are a maker on the gdax exchange when you place your order if you are a maker then your fee is going to be zero percent if you are a taker then your fee is going to be right here what you're looking at and it's going to it's going to be different depending on each pair now it's only going to be slightly different so it's not really much to worry about there and then also it changes based on how much volume you're doing over a 30-day period volume means how much are you transacting how much coin are you transacting so what we can tell is that we want to be makers we don't want to be takers okay let's go ahead and scroll down here and they give us some details about how the fees are processed how the exchange volume is calculated and then they give us maker versus taker i'm not going to read this because i don't think this is very straightforward i'll let you take a look at it but what i'm going to do is try to break it down for you with respect to the order book because that's what we've been talking about in the past few videos if you know what the order book is and you understand the order book then you don't really need to read all this stuff that they're talking about here i'm going to leave a link to this in the description down below but let's just flip back to the gdax interface and take a look and try to see if we can break it down and figure out what it means to be a maker and what it means to be a taker okay we're here in the gdax interface the ui and in order to go ahead and explain a maker and a taker we need to zero in once again on the order book the words maker and taker are relative to the order book in order to understand these concepts you need to understand the order book so we know that we have the order book which is the collection of all orders on the exchange when we make an order when we fill out and set the parameters of our order and we submit that order to the exchange two things are going to happen number one that order is going to execute and it is going to take from the order book so it's going to take liquidity from the order book or it's going to make an order that goes on to the order book so it won't execute immediately so whenever you're talking about a taker you're saying i'm taking orders from the order book so i see all these orders here let's go ahead and just look we see a bunch of sell orders right here we've got eight bitcoin we've got 36 Bitcoin, 30 Bitcoin. If we come in straight in the market and we say, we're going to buy all of those Bitcoin available, we're going to take those orders out of the order book. Because when, when we when the trade executes, those orders are going to come out. We're going to take them from the order book. So we're reducing the liquidity that's in the marketplace. Now, if we put in an order that doesn't execute immediately, like suppose down here we say, okay, I think I'll go ahead and buy at $3,860. I'll put in an order to buy some Bitcoin right there. What you have done is you have made liquidity. You are a maker because you're adding to the order book. So that's why if we flip back here and you're going to read, you're going to see some stuff they're talking about. Maker versus taker, they say filled immediately. They start talking about immediately this and that. And it's like, well, what does that even mean? What that means is you're taking orders from the order book or you're making orders and putting them onto the order book. So we want to be makers because makers do not pay a fee. It's zero. When the trade executes, the price you pay is zero. So one more thing I want to point out is that when we look at the order book and we look at the composition of the order book, we look at the number of Bitcoins on either side the number of, of sell orders the number of buy orders what that what the order book represents in the marketplace is the liquidity of the market it tells us how easily can we enter into this market how much bitcoin is available for sell for us to enter into the market into the bitcoin market if there's a lot for sell if there's a lot of liquidity then we can easily put in you know say two million dollars three million dollars four million dollars and the price isn't going to move that much because there's a lot of liquidity there to soak us up and absorb us right in on the buy side you want to have liquidity to get out of the market. So you want to be able to sell without tanking the price. So how much how much demand is sitting there? And that, that demand, the more demand that you have, the more liquid that the market is. Because you can come in and out of the market without having to make the price move all that much. Like we saw in the previous videos, depending on what the liquidity is right around the spread, you might have to go up or down a few cents to get all the Bitcoin that you're trying to buy. Now, when you look at it as a whole, you might have a lot of sell orders coming in or a lot of buy orders coming in. And you want to know, 
how liquid is this? Is it going to make the price move way up or way down just to execute some, you know, maybe even some small orders? So the more liquidity, the more liquidity you have, the more actual amounts you have on both sides, the buy and the sell side. So whenever you're a maker, you are making liquidity for the marketplace. Whenever you are a taker, you are taking liquidity from the marketplace. You're taking orders from the order book or you are making orders for the order book. Now we know that if you're a maker, then you are increasing the liquidity and therefore you're going to get a lower rate. You're going to pay 0% when that trade executes. So the next question that comes to mind is how can you ensure when you place an order that you're going to be a maker and not a taker? Well, that depends on two things. Number one, the type of order that you choose and number two, the parameters that you set. Now the types you can see right here, it's going to be market limit and stop. And in the next videos, we're going to talk about each one of those and we're going to look at each one in terms of the parameters that you can set. We're going to talk about how you can set those parameters in such a way that you are definitely going to be a maker whenever you place your order on the GDAX exchange. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thank you.